Hi, this is Henry Nassino. I am a customer engineer on the Google Cloud Platform team. For the next uh, few minutes, I'm going to do a short presentation and demo around Cloud Functions. So let's go ahead. So Cloud Functions is our service serverless offering, uh, which allows developers to really just think about the function or the code that they want to write and not worry about servers, provisioning servers, maintaining servers, maintaining VMs, instances. Um, here you're really a serverless environment, which is kind of the, the next level of a managed service. It's uh, a lot of the other services we offer, we, we, we call them managed services. In this case, we're talking completely serverless. So in case of Cloud Functions, yeah, you pay only for what you use, the function runs, um, you pay by the millisecond or the fraction of a millisecond and then once the function is completed you pay for nothing after that. So this is event driven or event oriented. Uh, we'll talk about the two types of cloud functions on the next slide and you really need to think about deploying functions and not applications and the function is a response to an event. So like I mentioned there's two types of cloud functions. There's HTTP functions which are synchronous invocations of HTTP, HTTPS. Um, we'll provide a URL and a TLS certificate, and then you basically provide the code that responds to that HTTP request. So this typically would use um, either an application running inside of Google Cloud or potentially an application running outside of Google Cloud, which needs to go ahead and call a function that you provide using, using this technique. Uh, the second type of function is called the background function, and these are asynchronously invoked by cloud events, specifically Google Cloud events. So the two examples are uploading a image or a file to a Google Cloud storage bucket, or writing a message to a pub sub topic. That would those are events that occur that could kick off an asynchronous cloud function. So looking at this from a graphical perspective. So number one would be a cloud service emitting events. So this could be Google, a Google Cloud Storage bucket or a pub subtopic being written to. When that occurs, those events, that, that event occurs, and the next thing that happens is your function gets triggered, which we're gonna respond to the event that just occurred. So bucket gets a upload of a file, we kick off your function uh, who's, who's gets triggered because of that specific bucket was, uh, was updated with a file. So your code runs and then the code could have some logic in it or it could be kind of glue code which just calls other APIs. And then it can write back to the cloud if, if needed to back to cloud storage or back to some other data store inside the cloud storage. Then the other scenario, number two here, is external services emitting events. So you, you may have an application running outside of Google Cloud. Maybe it's running in another cloud provider. Maybe it's running an on-premise environment. And you need to go ahead and call this function that's running in Google Cloud. So that'd be the case of the HTTP function that I mentioned earlier, where maybe you have some event on some other system, and now you're providing a webhook for that application to call into a Google Cloud function. So let's move on. So the demo example I am going to provide, and you can go to this Git, GitHub repo to actually get the source code. I'm going to actually go through the processes of deploying this demo. I'll do a quick code walkthrough. But well, basically what we do is here at the bottom, we're going to upload the image to a Google Cloud storage bucket, which We'll have a which is going to which is going which is an event which is going to trigger off a cloud function that I'm going to that I am going to deploy. And the cloud function is going to analyze the image by making a call to the Vision API, and specifically I'm going to look for kind of offensive or adult or violent content, um, which is something that the Vision API does when it analyzes an image. So I'm going to get the output of that and write it to a to the cloud function log. Um, and then kind of the, to test this, I'm going to copy an image. I have a link to the image I'm going to use, basically a, a zombie eating flesh image. So it is contained violence. And we're going to see what happens when I copy that image um, to this Google Cloud Storage bucket and kicks off my function. 
So for starters, let's take a look at the Vision API. So I'm going to manually come out here and go ahead and drop or upload an image to the Vision API. And we're going to see here in a second, the Vision API is analyzing this image and it is going to respond with some labels. I'm not really that interested in the labels, but I am interested in kind of its analysis in terms of kind of adult or offensive content. So here we got flagged for violence, so very likely that this contains violence. So that's what I really want to try to capture as I do this using the cloud function. So let's go ahead and look at the cloud function code itself. So it's just cloud functions are written in Node.js. So in this case, we have our Node.js file that's going to be executed, which is index.js. Um, then we have our dependency file, which is package.json. And then we have that same image that I'm going to copy to the storage bucket. So in the readme, you can actually go through the actual process that I'm going to go through to deploy this cloud function and then to actually copy an image using the gsutil command and then actually read the logs to see the results of my analysis of this image using the vision API. So quickly go into the code and let me just make this a little bit bigger. So really, I'm exporting a function called analyze image. Uh, really, all I'm receiving of this is event data. Um, I could talk about some other things, like we also could receive callback uh, data or a callback function that I'd have to go ahead and send a response to or a return value for. But in this case, we're just going to receive this event data. The event data is the actual event that occurred. So in this case, it's the, the image being uploaded to the Google Cloud Storage bucket is the event that I'm capturing and it's going to contain some information that I need in my code. So here we're going to go ahead and now I'm going to get the uh, name of the bucket and the name of the actual file. So we have the name of the bucket and the name of the file and now we're going to take that and we are going to, well we, I concatenated the bucket plus the file we actually create a GS a Google Cloud Storage bucket name and file name. And then we're going to call the Safe Search Detection API, part of the, the Node.js uh, library um, for, for our Vision API. Pass it in that file that we created here. And then we're going to call, and then we're going to get a response back. And the response was specifically going to look for the safe search annotations. And we are going to get inside this, and then in the safe search annotations, we're specifically interested in the adult, the spoof, the medical, and the violence. And those are all going to be kind of strings that get returned back from the safe search detection method call of the Vision API. So, when we get that information back, we're going to log it so we can view that in the cloud function log. All right, so let's go to GCP, and you can see here I have I don't I have one cloud function deployed. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this second one that I just showed you. So let's go ahead and clone that directory or clone that repo. So let's go. Generalizer. Actually, what we'll do, we'll actually just go through the readme. So let's go ahead and clone. All right, now let's go to the, the generalizer directory. So it's like here, I just already did that. So we're the image analyzer directory. Now I'm going to make a bucket. And in this case, I already have a bucket that I'm going to use 
And you can go ahead and use the gsutil command to make a bucket and name it anything you want to name it. Um, if you haven't used Google Cloud Storage, the bucket names have to be globally unique. So I always tend to put my initials in front of it. Uh, it tends to make it a global unique name. If you have common initials, you'll have to probably come up with something a little more interesting. So now we're going to go ahead and deploy the function that I just showed you. And we're going to deploy it with gcloud command. So I can actually deploy this through the actual UI, but in my case, I'm going to use the command line interface, gcloud, to deploy my function. So, oh, uh, copy and paste that. Okay, my bucket name that I am going to use is HN image bucket. And yeah, deploy it. And this may take a couple minutes. If this is your very first time, it could take I don't know, two to five minutes. Uh, if you've done it previously, you'll notice it'll maybe take a minute or less. So let's actually go to that bucket and let me see if I have Im any images in there right now. I might want to go ahead and delete them. All right, we have our first version. We have our image bucket here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them all for now. Any of these? Uh, no. All right, now we have an empty bucket. So now the next thing I'm going to do is actually let me just check, make sure my my function was deployed successfully. So we should show up here as analyze image and it's triggering on this bucket, HN image bucket. And now I am going to hit and copy that image and I will use again the gsutil command to do that. So I'm going so to copy that image to my bucket. Again, my bucket that I'm going to use. Is HN image bucket. All right. So now I've copied it there. So what's going to happen is once I've copied it there, almost instantaneously, my cloud function is going to execute, and then it's going to end up called a Vision API to analyze it for or for adult or offensive content and write out its results to the function log. And there's a couple ways to look at the function log. The first way I'm going to show you is just by executing another gcloud command. Now I'm getting the function log specifically for my analyze image uh, cloud function. So again, execute that. And we will see what time is right now, 11.06. So this one is this one right here. So you can see it started and that's the, the bucket name, that's the, that's the image that I uploaded and then it did some analysis and wrote out whether it's the results from determining if it has adult content, spoof content, medical content, or, or violence. And again, this is the one I was really wanted to make sure that it showed up as very likely. All right, so now we can actually go into, just from the UI perspective, just so I can show you that you can actually go directly to view logs directly from the UI. And I think I'll 
do it the opposite way. So the most recent, 2306, which is the one I just ran, is shows very likely for violence. Okay. So we just went full path, full full end to end of implement, implementing a cloud function. And the cloud function analyzed the uploaded image by calling the vision API, determining if it had offensive content, writing the results up to the function log. Um, we kicked it off by uploading an image to the GCS bucket. Then we viewed the log both from the uh, both from the gcloud command as well as from the uh, UI or the console. All right, that concludes this video. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you on the next one.